tribute to the affordable housing scheme after the Supreme Court of Kenya overturned the decision of the appeal court that had declared the entire Finance Act of 2023 unconstitutional. The mother Kome led seven judge bench further in its ruling observed that the parliament did adequate public participation in the process. The Tuesday on the appeal which touched on the contentious Housing Levy Act solidified this legality of the President William Ruto championed affordable housing agenda. Moiga William begins our broadcast tonight with that report. The national government will revert to the Finance Act of 2023 to raise revenue following a successful appeal against the decision of the appeal court that ruled the Finance Act as unconstitutional. <laughs> Tuesday, Chief Justice Mother Koome and the six other judges of the Supreme Court in their ruling overturned the decision that the entire Finance Act was unconstitutional. The seven judges of the Apex Court ruled on the contentious fate of the Housing Levy Act, ruling that Section 84, Affordable Housing Levy, from the Finance Act 2023 was not relevant in the matter, coinciding with the recent finding of the High Court in a different case that found it to be properly enacted. This ruling means Kenyans will continue to contribute to the housing levy fund. Tuesday's decision by the Supreme Court of Kenya follows an appeal filed by the government, including the Attorney General, the Cabinet Secretary for Treasury, the National Assembly and the Kenya Revenue Authority against the Court of Appeals judgment declaring the Finance Act of 2023 unconstitutional. However, it was the finding of the Apex Court that sections 76 and 78 of the Finance Act, which amended the Kenya Roads Act 1999, and section 87, which amended the unclaimed Financial Assets Act 2011, are unconstitutional because they are not related to a money bill. The Court of Appeals ruling was based on several procedural and constitutional concerns. The appellant judges Katharima Minotti, Agnes Murgo and John Mativo emphasized that certain sections of the act introduced after the public participation phase failed to meet constitutional requirements for public engagement. In August, the government aggrieved by the appellant court's decision urged the Supreme Court to overturn the ruling against the Finance Act 2023 citing an economic crisis. These after the withdrawal of the Contentious Finance Act 2024 that attracted opposition from a majority of Kenyans leading to weeks of protest. Mwiki William, TV 47.